It's funny and it's interesting because like this is a pretty common question for in coaching. Like, how did you get your start? You, did you know you always wanted to be a coach? I don't know how many coaches are like this, but for me, the answer is no. I was a free agent. I hadn't resigned with anyone. I was working out, you know, just like anybody trying to stay ready. A good friend of mine at Rice at that time, knowing Houston, Texas. You know, one day we were talking. He was like, "You should coach, man. You can, you know, you can help these kids. You know, they'll listen to you." And I was just like, "I don't want to coach." But I decided to go down and talk to Ben Braun, and Ben Braun was the head coach at Rice. I said, I'm not worried about getting paid, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's, it's not really about that. I said, man, you know, I come and, if I can come and help in any way, hang out, hang around and practice. And that's kind of how it started. And so after college, I played overseas a little bit here and there, nothing major. And, you know, then uh, when I got done, um, I just started working a regular job, trying to figure it out. My girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife, was like, you know, I don't know if she could tell that I wasn't quite fulfilled or wasn't happy or something was missing or like, I don't know. She could just kind of sense something. And so she was like, why don't you try coaching? And I was like, coaching? I never thought about it. And then I was like, you know what? Um, I'll try it. So I just started with sixth grade boys basketball at my uh, hometown where I went to high school. Not really sure what to expect, but then after five minutes, I just knew, like I just loved it. Like, like it was felt like what I was supposed to be doing. We were pleased with our defense in the first quarter. I thought we had a little bit of sloppy play in the second quarter, mishandled the ball, allowed them to get out in the fast break and get some easy ones. You know, our message is just to stay the course, stay with our execution, you know, continue what we're doing offensively and defensively and just, and just stay focused overall. The beauty of new staffs is everybody learns basketball differently, but it's all one common goal. So it doesn't matter whether it's Will coming from San Antonio, he may coming from Brooklyn, you know, Ben coming from Milwaukee. There's a lot of good basketball minds in the building. Get up here. Got to run to it. Good. Go and catch Rob. Rip this. Hard drive. Go. You know, I think that we're all here because we bring something to the table and the uniqueness of staffs is everybody having a, 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 a what would be considered their strength. And you just kind of play on that. And for me, um, you know, it's, the, it's, it's, it's still the player in me, I think. And I think that that carries a lot of weight around here. You know, never do I talk about when I played. I just reference different things um, in terms of seeing it from their perspective. And I think the guys can can understand that when, based on me playing the game. So JT, all you gonna do, you gonna beat me, boom! You driving right here, good job, fellas. I think part of my journey as I look back is like it's constantly searching for new challenges and new growth and new opportunities. And to be able to do that with Ime in Boston, um, to be a Celtic is something that's truly special and near and dear to like who I am as a person. I came in with an open mind um, and I wanted and I wanted to learn. I wanted to enhance myself and get better even more and I've been able to do that each and every day.